Hi everyone, Tasha here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making an easy birthday card using the Feeling Prickly Cactus Slimline Stencil Set from Maker Forte. This set includes three pieces. It has the bottom spotlight layer, the top layer with the details, and then the cutout from the spotlight. So you can mix and match to create a whole bunch of different designs. I'm using the Spotlight Cactus and I'm just going to take a piece of tape and adhere it to my work surface so it doesn't wiggle around. I'm going in with Twisted Citron Distress Oxide Ink and I did use the same tape to block off the cactus flowers and then the edge of the bottom base because I didn't want to get the green color in those areas. After I was done blending in the green, I went in with Squeeze Lemonade and I did the same thing to that bottom base or that bottom container and I did use tape to block off the green. For the flowers, I'm going in with Picked Raspberry and this pink and green combination is so pretty. I love the bright pink next to that green color. I removed the stencil and then I went in with the next layer and this stencil is so easy to line up. I used some Mode Lawn Distress Oxide ink for the rest of the cactus and I did cover the flowers again with tape so I had no problem just ink blending that whole area and didn't have to worry about getting any of the green into the pink that I colored for the flowers. For the base, I'm going in with some Spice Marmalade and I love the orange and the yellow combination. I also added some picked raspberry on the bottom and I think this reminds me of kind of like an Arizona color theme or you know that Southwest color theme so I wanted the pink, the orange, those, those desert colors and I just, they're just so pretty. So I pulled off the stencil and it revealed that really cool design and then I'm using that masking from that spotlight stencil to cover up what I just created. I wanted the background to be um, a really pretty like a turquoise color so I'm going in with peacock feathers and this stencil because that center part fits perfectly you don't have to worry about the blue color going into your stencil design you just have to hold it down firmly you might have to you know take your time when you're going around the edges but it was really easy to just go around and create the colored background for the border, I went in with some Blueprint Sketch. I do like using the darker colors around the edges when I do ink blending. I just think it makes the brighter colors in the background pop and I love the two blues together. So once I was done with that, I'm going to start with my stamping. I'm using my Misty tool and then the Happy Birthday Sentiment from the Easy Watercolor Stamp Set from Maker Forte. Now this sentiment fits perfectly on this card and I really like the brush script design that it has, that font. So I'm using some Color Hive Eclipse Black ink and then the new First Impression Smusher tool and I only needed to stamp it once. I think that tool really helped me give that even pressure that I usually struggle with. So I'm using my tape runner to adhere my layers. The layer colors that I selected for this project coordinate with the colors I used on the stencil design. So I'm going in with a light orange color and then a hot pink, and then the card base is just white. Again, I love this pink and orange color combination. It also works really well with the blue in the background. So once I was done adhering my layers, I decided I wanted to use foam tape for the top two layers. It gave it some dimension, plus it would help me make sure my, e my layers were even. I do like using foam tape or liquid adhesive for those top layers, just so I have some wiggle room to make sure everything was lined up correctly. To complete the card, I'm going in with the, um, it's a Sharpie, but it's a fine tip white paint pen sharpie i just recently discovered this and it's it's so great i love it it's kind of like using your gel pen but you can use it on top of your stencil designs and your ink blending designs and it gives that really bright white color so this is my card i hope you guys enjoy taking a look at this really fun layered stencil be sure to check out the maker forte and have a nice night Bye bye